people got hands on skull and bones. Ah! Yeah. You know, there's yeah. something really hilarious about it being delayed for like 10 years only to release in the most fucked up quarter I've ever seen. <laughs> so, um, yeah, some some impressions coming in uh, kind of basically summing up that like on the good side of things, the level design is like really nice and um, the world is apparently very beautiful there's lots of locations that are that seem pretty cool to explore but then um on the cons everything else in it is just inferior to black flag it it runs worse than black flag it looks worse than black flag even on uh, uh maxed settings maxed out settings completely um the uh, the actual ship combat is simplified over black flags you can do less there's um less to the uh, the, the the actual targeting and, and combat as well because the naval combat you before kind of involved lining up properly matching speeds checking waves etc and here it's more just like pick targets cannons will shoot in that direction there's nothing else to really do oh singapore's gonna fucking sue them there's no boarding the enemy ship at all you can only blow them up and then go to the wreckage and then just auto click on the stuff and basically it feels uh from what the person was describing as if a rush to the finish line to make what essentially is the depth of a mobile game um to not get sued <laughs> in, in an attempt, so, so, in so an attempt have, um, to, to not get have, sued we have talked about this in the past but for those of you who are but it's been in dev forever for those of you who are unaware um black flag sorry not black flag um skull and bones is a fraudulent scam that has been perpetrated on the singaporean government via tax credits they were paid 75 million dollars to put a studio in singapore to develop a game and the game was determined to be skull and bones and then they decided to put the absolute bare minimum resources and use it as a vacation spot for their staff over the course of a decade for a decade now over in, in just the simple world of i hey i loved the pirating and boats and black flag and i I would be really cool. It was great. You could make that its own thing. I would. That's one of the only Assassin's Creed games you can go back to and have not played any of them and play right now and be like, oh, I had a good time. That's a good one. All I want to do is just sail the boat and then do the do the, the things and ship naval battles and maybe even sing a shanty. Uh, and yeah, apparently just everything this game is doing is just less than the spinoff uh, that's as the spinoff than the, than the thing that was treating it as a side bit the original bit um and uh yeah it's 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 you know the the you can that's cr- wild you create your character and customize your ship and so on but like there's obviously going to be micro and shit to come later that's that's not accessible during the demo um so there's not much to say on that but overall it just it seems like they really just kind of rushed to the finish line due to the pending litigation um oh uh, is that is that like rolling up that's spe- that, no, well that's that's spe- speculation speculation this is all entirely un, un- confirmed um but i i can't imagine singapore is not going to like fucking immediately start getting their their lawyers together where's the money um <laughs> like yeah. we paid you the money so that you'd make money and, and pay people and yeah. so where's because like one of the biggest scandals out of the singaporean office was that people from singapore could never get promoted to anything oh no they would exclusively ship in french nationals to take every single management, management position absolutely yeah singaporeans can't manage but That's like crazy. Why part you... of the reason you no. you incentivize a company to <laughs> Establish in your fucking city or or no, state or, or what? country is so no. that people who live in your country can get good jobs. What? Fuck off! That's crazy. You talking wild, bro? We're trying to fucking vacay out here. We're trying to hit those beaches. What you trying to do? <laughs> Man, uh, yeah. So we're on the street, more like skin and bones, huh? <laughs> Ah, woo! ah, yeah. <sighs> I just wanted chanties. I just wanted to boat and chanty, yeah, dude. It's it's so simple. 
Okay, I here, I have something very blunt to suggest. Skull and Bones could have been a budget re-release of Black Flag in which you don't have the Assassin's Creed parts. <laughs> Where you just, just get rid of the foot shit entirely. Like, just, like, literally cut it in half and charge half of it. I mean... Yet you would have had me. <laughs> like, and then, and then, I would and buy then a boat add, game. Um, HD boat. Add, uh, 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 ten more of the boss fights against the boats. Couple more ships. To, yep, that's fine. I'm Dude, down. Some of those boss fights were awesome against the fucking ghost ships. We have cut out the rest of the game. We've just put in the boat sections, and we've dropped fifty more shanties. Sign me the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in, bro. I'm so you in. Know, if I, you know, if I was a cynical man, I would wonder if Ubisoft kept a, a foreign studio open that was never planning to make any games whatsoever purely as a way to dodge extradition for their cavalcade of managerial sex oh, criminals. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, now we're... If I was a cynic! Now we're thinking with portals. I'm not... <laughs> like, I'm not there. I'm not. I'm not that type of fucking uh, 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 legal ninja. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, that seems a bit nuts. But <sighs> but we'll see what happens when the game drops, and then um, they subsequently release a statement going, "Hey, shit happens." Oh wait, no, that was actually um, the day after. Mm. Not much update there. They just came out and said, "Hey guys, shit happens." Um, mm. yeah, good stuff.